Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth mission of the story of Exodus. This time we'll be playing Joshua and the Conquest of Canaan. This is the story of Joshua and his conquest of Canaan following the fall of Jericho. Joshua, hero Ajax, must not die. And of course we all know Ajax from Age of Mythology. Joshua led the people of Israel across the River Jordan into the land of Canaan. When they reached the walls of Jericho, the Israelites blew their trumpets as God commanded, and the walls of that city toppled flat to the earth. All that lived there was put to the sword, and the Lord God commanded Joshua to go into the land of Canaan and utterly destroy the enemies of Israel. Their cities would be taken, their people turned to dust, and their lands divided among the tribes of Israel in fulfillment of God's promise to Moses. Objectives. Destroy. Oh, these names are going to be hard to pronounce. Gibbonites. Jebusites, Perizzites, and Hivites. Hence, you have a population of 100! Yes! The Israelites are now a generation removed from their slavery in Egypt and have adopted new ways. Your technology tree now reflects the Babylonian civilization. Joshua has placed every man under arms, so you begin without villagers. Once you leave the mountains, you will find servile Jebionites who can help build a city. Choose where Joshua will lead the Israelites, either north into the Jezreel Valley or south into the hills of the Jebusites. Do not spend too long fighting the Jebionites as your other enemies are gaining strength. You can always return to the mountains to destroy them after you have built your town. The Bible would later say that God hurled hailstones from the sky against the Canaanites. Do not neglect building a siege workshop so you may rain rocks on your enemies. The coastal plain to the west makes transit between the north and south easier than the mountain passes. From the coast, you can also build ships with which to trade with the Sidonians, but beware of their growing Philistine fleet. The Philistines are newcomers to Canaan. It is not necessary to defeat them, but be warned that they will grow in power over time. History. Ancient Canaan was a region corresponding to the Levant, or modern-day Israel and Lebanon, and sitting astride the trade networks between the larger empires of Mesopotamia, Egypt, and Anatolia. The Canaanites were primarily Semitic-speaking peoples who established decentralized urban polities similar to the later Greek city-states of the Classical period. By the Late Bronze Age, new nomadic peoples, called the Shazu by Egyptian sources, contributed to the collapse of the old Canaanite order. By the early Iron Age, Canaan had come to be dominated by the Hebrew kingdoms of Israel and Judah, as well as by the Philistines along Canaan's Mediterranean coast. Okay, so let's take one more look at those hints. We can find some villagers. We'll have to choose where to go. And coastal plains make it easier to travel, and objectives are to kill everything. Okay. Does Ajax have to survive? Let's figure that out. Yes, he does. So Ajax has to survive. That is some... Guys, we probably don't want to fight. Chase them down. Okay, I think that went fairly well for us. Oh, chase them down and get them. Nice. Okay, so first fight, I think that went well. Oops, there's more archers there. Check the high road or the low road. Let's lead maybe with the slingers. I just don't have enough range really to fight them. Uh, yes, yeah, slingers do not have the range they need to fight archers. Just go with everybody. Send everyone. See if we can get the cavalry behind them. And there we go. Take the low road. Oh. Ballista. There we are. Oh, 
Okay, that that next fight did not go particularly well. Uh, let's not spend too much time then. We'll keep, I guess we'll go south and east. So if we can actually take out the archer, I kind of get behind him. Okay. Well, the good thing about losing all those units is now we don't have to micro as much. Oh yes, villagers. Um. Okay, I guess we should town center somewhere. Oh, we have scouts. We can find a TC location with the scouts. Play a bit of nomad. Ideally, we find a spot that has some wood. I think those are people we have to destroy. Maybe we could just TC rush them. Oh, there's wood there. Can I build the town center kind of on a hill a bit? Uh, not really. But I can build it like there and steal their farms. Get out of my way, little scout. He has upgrades and I don't, which is less than ideal. Get my army back, kill the scout before he kills all my villagers. Let's don't don't kill the farms. We can take them. Let's just see what they have inside their town. Do they have any towers? No, they don't. Okay, so I guess that means they have a villager we can convert. Oh, don't kill the farms. We're going to steal the farms. Don't kill the farms. No. Oh, we can't steal farms. Okay, then yeah, we can kill them. Uh, oh, we are going to need our houses. Oh, stuff died there. I did not see that. Maybe going straight to the town center isn't the best plan. Oh, especially with all that stuff there. Do we get that convert? Let's see if we can lure some of those gazelle back to the town center. Just hopefully Ajax can do a bit of fighting for us. Need some more houses, take the gazelle. Okay. Go for the town center. And go for the convert. Maybe convert the yellow villager. Okay, that could have been real bad. Uh, you guys are idle. Let's go, we'll just long distance hunt, don't feel like pushing it in. It's too much work. Let's take out the temple so we don't have those annoying priests popping up. Okay, uh, granary there, and you going to do some gazelle pushing for us. Oh, that was a real fast convert, unfortunately. Okay, well, we've got the... Town center taken out. Hopefully the improved bowman can defeat a normal bowman. Or not. Oh, but those priests are getting so many conversions. Take out the temple. There we go. Okay, well, the priest is dead, which is definitely not good. Maybe we can do the government center in multiple TCs. And we'll start building towers by the barriers, which is something we're going to need to defend. Hopefully, yellow is just out of resources now. Oh, 
would like to lure these gazelle to the town center, but that could be a bit tough. Let's just kill them out here. I don't know if we have time for a bunch of luring. I would like a temple. Can we build? Yes, now we can build more town centers. Uh, so let's get up some more towers, actually. To be relying heavily on Ajax, I feel. It's important that we don't let him die. And probably going to need a lot more towers. Let's kill the bowman if we can. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. Okay, that definitely could have gone significantly worse than it did. Didn't go great, but we are still alive. And we are Babylon, right? So what does our tech tree look like? I feel like we've played lots of Babylon scenarios. We do have chariot archers. So stone miners and walls and towers are better better priests. Okay, so I guess we'll we'll just go for chariot archers. I guess we'll need to research wheel for that. Yeah, let's just get a few more defenses up, kind of force them towards the town center if we can. Or towards the towers, rather, because the town centers can't fire in this game. And we need more food for wheel. So the next thing we need is more berry gatherers. I think we're good on the towers for now. We can afford to build one more should we need it. I don't like not having a scout, so we're just going to have to do a bit of scouting with... Uh, with Ajax over here. Before making those chariot archers. Then we can at least use chariot archers for scouting. I feel like we're just going to need some farms. Increase the speed of our food income. Okay, so there's some golden stone over here that we'll be able to use. Don't want to fight that tower yet. Just want to get my village account up since I can go all the way to 100 population and at some point do wheel. Second town center pretty soon would probably be nice, but it's going to take a good bit of wood. Ooh, over here could be a nice TC. Get up a tower so we can defend it. Yeah, we could try that since there's some food there. Okay, looks like we can do wheel now. Please get the convert. Okay, didn't get the convert, but did repel the attack, which is important. Okay, now we can start getting up some more houses, maybe one more house there, just to force them to go even further around. And as these berry villagers finish, we will start moving a few of them over to that new TC spot. We'll start out by building a tower by it. Keep Ajax there. And we'll need to get 200 wood for another town center. The priest out here by Ajax to keep him healed. Uh, would like that soon, but I think we gotta prioritize the town center. We'll build it as soon as that tower goes up. We're like there. Not quite sure how to position age one town centers. And maybe a storage pit over here would be nice. Or maybe, ooh, I can even make a granary there. Let's do, up. Oh, being attacked from below. Um, I have nothing with which I can defend, but I can make some chariot archers. Uh, panic tower, maybe? Everything else is over here. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's repelled. Good job, towers. Out of wood now. Uh, there's more guys attacking though. It's not good. 
Okay, uh, we have the chariot, and we'll use the chariot now to repel this attack. And we'll bring the priest over so the priest can kill the chariots. Uh, is something there that's dead. I think we need another tower up here. Keep us safe, we are housed. Uh, don't use that many houses, instead build a storage pit. Maybe here. Okay, now heal that guy up. Start moving you guys over to this town center, which is probably safer than the other town center. And there's not much wood on this map. Oh, there's more yellow? I thought I killed you guys. So I, w I was trusting that they just would be dead and wouldn't be a nuisance anymore, but that might not be true. Might actually have to invest into killing them more than I previously thought. Let's get one more town center up again, I guess, by the stone. Good thing we got that second tower. Uh, get a good whack on him. There, there we go. Let's do... Can't quite do wood cutting yet. Then we're gonna want that for the extra range on the... Chariots. You know, we can do a bit of exploring with them. I wanna find orange, is there... They seem to want to attack. Let's see what's going on over here. Very good. That's not orange, that's brown, but we know there's some resources here now. And there's some more chariot archers. Oh, a bit more villagers, yes. Uh, let's just. Ooh, can we get a sneaky little town center up here by that gold? Let's go for it, and we're going to need some houses. And maybe a siege workshop soon to start cleaning up some of those towers. Oh no, don't. Let's get right up underneath him, get to his minimum range. Oh, there's another one. I need a bit of micro here. Okay, that one will go down now. Focus the archer first. Okay, and we need to make sure that Ajax stays alive throughout this. Okay, um, where is Ajax? Alive, okay. Okay, got him. We have tons of idle villagers now. Let's just build me a. Yeah, kill that farm. Get a stone thrower, we will need. Uh, do some upgrades there. You guys, I guess, uh, granary by those berries. I have so many idols now. Uh, chop wood, blind stone, blind stone, build. Oh, you are stealing the farms! Okay, I gotta figure out how to actually to do that. Oh, something died up there, but that's okay. I think we can just rebuild some archery ranges over here. Um, wherever we find a spot. Running kind of low on wood. We're gonna have to... Nope, nope, let's, uh, quick wall. And tower. Okay, now a few more houses. And we're getting close to the point where we want to click up to the next age. Kill the tower. You guys don't uh, actually come over here. Yeah. Right click scrolling. There we go. 
And I did want to set Ajax onto a hotkey because I've now lost track of where he is. Bombies. Bombies. Um, idle military? You, I don't really need you, but you can do a bit of scouting for me. And click up to the Imperial Age. That town center looks a bit idle. And we'll go for some horse archers. Once we're up, oh, there's another one of those mini crashes. Okay, resume. Okay, there is Ajax. Just keep him healed. Oh crap, these guys are coming in force. We're, we're going to need our more archery ranges. For the horse archers, we will also need uh, archer armor and uh, more hit points. We don't die to catapults. Okay, time for some more micro. Actually, we should probably just attack with villagers. <laughs> it's a lot of catapults. We're definitely going to need a stable in addition to these uh, rangers. I guess maybe, maybe even just some normal cavalry could help, because we have tons of... Uh, tons of food. Convert, please. But now we can start out with the horse archers. I don't have another upgrade for them. Do I have uh, engineering, alchemy, ballistics? That's probably the important one. Uh, go to the market, do more range. Yeah, I keep villagers being queued. And come over here. You guys start training uh, some cavalry. See if villagers take out the tower. Hopefully they can. Villagers rush down the stone thrower. Alright, okay, tower's got it. Nice. Okay, so orange is being quite quite problematic now. And the problem is we need some cavalry to deal with the stone throwers. In addition to some horse archers to just be their normal horse archer selves. In addition to we need to handle our idols. Take those berries. I guess we have full of farms there. Uh, Siegecraft. And I can't upgrade that, but I don't have the food to do it. Just gonna need to get a few more farms, I guess. Just keep coming up here, building storage pits. Okay, now we got it. Good horse archery production going. Oh, look at all these catapults. Okay, let's not go for horse archers, let's go for cavalry. We need a combination of horse archers and cavalry. Uh, let's upgrade the towers now. I need more food for that. Let's get those closer to a drop site. And we need more stables for going for cavalry. Ooh, are all out of gold? It's not good. We need to secure more gold. What I really would like to do is kill that siege workshop they have. If I need units, not particularly upgrades at this point. And let's just buff out our army with some chariot archers. Okay, and I guess let's just get some more gold. 
And let's actually scout what's down here. Looks like we can take some more wood there. I'm being attacked somewhere. But just really want to... That's why I'm losing villagers. Um, you guys... Let's go there. I'll need some more ranges too. Build that drop side on those trees. Some more farms. Ooh, there's some stone there we can take. And I think maybe we just want to build some periodic towers throughout our eco. Stop this raiding. Yeah. But don't die to the stone thrower. Okay, there we are. Nice. Okay, now we should be a bit safer from raiding. Uh, siege engineers. I haven't made any siege units yet. Or actually, I wanted to upgrade. And then we can make more siege. Okay, now we should be able to deal with whatever threat Orange wants to throw at us. So that little wall there, which is cute. Okay, let's take out that siege workshop. And why am I being attacked? Oh, there. Uh, metallurgy for the... Oh, nice queuing technologies and units at the same time. You still need to do some exploring. I'll just forget about you for a moment. That is a lot of stone throwers. Scythe chariots would be nice, but I can't quite afford that yet. Let's just make tons of horse archers. And alchemy. I don't have the gold for that, uh, because I just queued up tons of horse archers. Alchemy. See where this passage leads, just send you guys down there. Uh, let's toggle a farm reseeding. Ooh, Ballista Tower. <laughs> that is way too expensive for me right now. And let's have to pay attention to our army, and if we micro, we should be able to take out the stone throwers without a problem. I swear I just turned on the auto farm reseeding. Yes, and the farm ran out. Ah, good job. Oh wow, this camel's there. Okay, nice. This could have been useful earlier. Uh, just take that gold there. Actually, we should pay attention to my army. Oh, yellow is now defeated, officially. That's nice. I probably have some unused units there to bring up, yep. Need more wood. Ah. Let's kill that with camels. You are kind of useless now. Okay, they are. They're not heavy horse archers, so we still have a bit of a chance against them. Why are farms expiring? That is. like toggled. Q is nice. Okay, let's kill the siege workshop with our archers. Now we just added a few more horse archers, and I think we win the rest of the game with horse archers. It's that 6 plus 3 compared to 7 plus 3. Alright, we could probably actually just take that out from range, but we'll concentrate on killing the villagers. Those are the more important things to kill. Okay, let's see if we can kill the tower with the archers. Alright, got that. Let's go a little bit more down there. Yeah, we have... Uh, 
almost a point we can do heavy catapult. Should I take out the towers? Ooh, no, don't let the villagers run away. It's not going to be good. <laughs> we do not want his villagers escaping and then rebuilding. And heavy catapults. Anything else at the market? Uh, gold mining, I guess. And ooh, we can queue up multiple technologies. That's nice. Look at all of those archery ranges they've made. And they're going to be doing the classic send villages to repair towers thing that the age one AI likes to do. And there's another catapult. Man, they've really built themselves up here. Really, I'm going to need those catapults. Let's not lose everyone underneath towers. I need some wood. I actually need lots of wood. Oh, I should be... I don't have that town center anymore. I need another siege workshop up here, and preferably archery ranges up here too, because I've just lost all of my army. Well, once we get the heavy catapults, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, there we are. And you guys can just gather there so we don't have you standing around idle. Ajax is still alive. Oh, I forgot, you can just click the control groups down there. But and there's another farm I just heard expire. I guess it's because I'm out of wood, so it makes sense that it would expire. Uh, let's just uh, stay extra safe at home. We'll do Ballista Tower. I want to concentrate now on... Oh, that's why I don't have wood, because I'm being killed by red. Okay, we've gotten... I need these heavy catapults to actually build. Almost deleted him thinking he was a villager. That would be quite, quite bad to delete your hero. Like, I don't even think Viper has accidentally deleted heroes so far. Okay, there's the rest of red, I guess. Looks like that would have just been a long way around. I don't actually see a land outside. Maybe you could go up there. After we kill Orange, we will want to try to kill Red. So we haven't seen the Philistines or the Sidonians at all, and the per Parasites. Haven't really seen them. We'll use a few more catapults. Just help take out these buildings more quickly. Okay, it looks like Orange is now kind of on his last legs. So let's just explore with these guys first. So what's our exact objective? Destroy Red, then still Orange and Brown. So Red will probably be quick. I uh, don't need you over there. Let's do the rest of the upgrades. Why not? Uh, you guys taking a pop space now. Oh, we have a priest in the middle of nowhere. Okay, uh, you guys just do some exploring. Handle the idols. Okay, we could dock over there. Looks like Brown might be over here, accidentally kill. Oh, the farm exhausted sound still goes off whenever you replace a farm, even if it's automatic. Oh, that is annoying. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> 
Okay, looks like we've pretty much cleaned everything up now. Ground didn't really do much all game. I guess there's stuff down here we can explore. And this little bit of red we'll have to kill. Oh, look at him. Trying to sneak a stone thrower. Have to micro. Should probably keep a couple of horse archers up here just so that one horse archer doesn't kill all my siege. Okay, anything else we can do? Oh, we can do lots of priest upgrades, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, aristocracy, writing. Sure, let's just do all of them because we can queue them! Definitely don't have enough catapults yet. Let's use these guys to kill the tower. Explore what else is here. Oh, didn't mean to kill you. Okay, looks like Brown has resigned. Let's spill the dock over here just to see what's out in the water. Do a bit more map exploration. Oh, how did you build a tower there? That's siege doesn't automatically reposition itself outside of minimum range. Huh. This guy is still building up. Every time I hear that farm exhausted sound, I'm pressing the idle villager button because I'm thinking that farm is exhausted. Oh wow, that was fast. A merchant ship. I don't know what's going to have the best line of sight, so we'll just make a galley, I guess. Let's just send you guys up there blindly. Have to mop these guys up. I do have some horse archers, thankfully. Just take out villagers without killing all my own siege. Okay. Almost killed all my old siege. That would not have been good. Oh, look, more villagers. Perfect. And they're now over the pop limit. Let's build some more town centers. And I guess we just need to finish off red at this point. Okay, orange has resigned. Now we just overrun red, who also have catapults. And I just built storage pits all over the place. Let's keep running, see if there's more units we can kill. I think we've pretty much finished off red. I'm gonna tower there just in case. Red probably doesn't have an AI that will resign early. Probably needs to just be completely defeated. Go out to the middle of the ocean, probably not much there. Ooh, fire galleys, yes. Oh, and there is uh, some guys with whom we could trade. Yeah, the coast hasn't really come into effect at all. Okay, so red is still somewhere. I guess down there, considering that villager died. Hopefully that storage crate isn't blocking the passage. Man, look at all of these storage pits. It's almost like my placement of storage pits. Oh, that's a granary, not a storage pit. Alright. It's gonna be one improved bowman. Oh, nope, more than one improved bowman. Ooh, and a broad swordsman. Hopefully this is the last guy. No, there's still more red somewhere. Okay, there's no, like, spies technology, so we're just going to have to hunt down every last red unit by ourselves. Just build a tower there in case? 
him. Oh, look, look at that guy trying to hide on the cliff. There we go. GG. So it seemed like brown and also green didn't really do anything that game when they probably should have. I don't know if maybe brown's when brown attacked me early, I killed it too hard and it just never got a chance to boom up after that. But I can understand yellow dying because I attacked them early. But maybe I just wasn't paying attention to brown. Yeah, zero gold collected. Villager high too. Maybe I killed their starting villagers and they just didn't have villagers after that. They spent all their food on army or something. Well, let's read the aftermath. Uh, Joshua's conquest of Canaan was bloody, but from this bloodshed, a new nation arose. Joshua brought the tribes of Israel, the descendants of Joseph, and his brothers together at Shiloh, where he divided the conquered lands among them. In time, these tribes would unite under the leadership and wisdom of kings David and Solomon. Although the United Kingdom of Israel would be short-lived, the descendants of Abraham never forgot the struggles they had faced. These memories would give them strength for the next three millennia. Alright, close that. Uh, no. I... I should probably just click no instead of ask later. But... Thank you guys all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.